MLB news keeps on happening every day. Blake Snell could be going to the Giants, or Robert Stevenson could be going to the Dodgers. And have the White Sox made up their mind on Dylan Cease yet? Starting off, we have the possibility of Blake Snell going to the Giants. For backstory, Blake Snell wants a contract at least $240 million. Whether this evaluation is right or wrong, who knows, it's just what Blake Snell's party is thinking. But it's easily causing a holdup as teams are only willing to spend so much money on players. But with that high contract, the Giants are actually under league average payroll right now at $152 million, so they would be able to afford him. The Giants have been linked to Blake Snell in the rumorverse or whatever you want to call it as well, but it helps that Snell would fit into the Giants rotation. Now on to how the Dodgers are trying to sign Robert Stevenson. Earlier today, the Astros signed Josh Hader to a contract, meaning the rest of the reliever market will soon speed up, and the Dodgers are one of the teams interested in Stevenson. It has to do with how the Dodgers have already kind of figured out their starting rotation, so they're looking for bullpen death for the postseason. I honestly thought the Dodgers would sign Hayter rather than Stevenson, but I guess the lower contract in Stevenson, it makes a better value. Because Robert Stevenson is still a really good pitcher, and considering his contract is estimated to only be $30 million. So overall, it's going to be a smart move by the Dodgers because it's going to be less money overall. Now for what you've all been waiting for, Dylan Cease's trade market. So according to reports I found, the White Sox are waiting until the trade deadline to trade Dylan Cease. I think it's smart by the White Sox because they still get to use Cease throughout part of the season, but they still get a good trade out of the deal. However, it's a gamble because if he doesn't do well, gets injured, or just something goes wrong and they can't get a good trade out of the deal. But overall, it should work out for the White Sox. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all the MLB news. Thank you for watching. Until next time, see you later.